Okay, this is going to be bad. But it's midnight here at the Rapaho Public School, and I'm the only one here. So I think I can do it. But we're going to I'm going to teach you a way to uh, to memorize this equation. Uh, if you're my student, you know this, and you've heard me sing it in front of you before. But uh, I had students go from only knowing this equation, about half of them knew this equation before I used to teach it. I wouldn't sing the song, and when I started singing the song, I went to almost 100% of my students memorizing this equation. And I think it's important to memorize if you're in high school. It's on a lot of uh, college, college entrance exams. You should do it. So this is quadratic formula saying to pop goes the weasel. Um, I guess I'll do anything for math, so here goes. Uh, if you know Pop Goes the Weasel, it's da 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 Pop Goes the Weasel. Who knows what the words are? I don't know. I only know the quadratic formula. That shows you my childhood interests. But here you go. So x equals, so let's start over. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So one more time from the top, and I'll go over the top of it in red. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Listen for that at the ACT or SAT test. I guarantee you there's a student somewhere in the room hum humming that Pop Goes the Weasel tune to themselves while they solve that equation. I've heard students say they've heard it sang before. So that's, that's my Pop Goes the Weasel uh, quadratic formula song. Got that from a, a teacher in Lincoln. Greatest, greatest mnemonic device I've ever used. Thanks for listening. Hope it helps you out a lot.